Benjamín, ¿cómo estás? ¡Qué gusto! ¡Dulce! Sí, gracias. Eulalia said you'll be at the courthouse. What excitement. Who's the girl? You know how long it has been since you have been to the rancho? We'll be there soon. Soon. All I hear from you is soon. Next month, the padre will bless the fields. And what a time, Ben. Wine, horses, food, music. And you know that the father doesn't take too long. Ben, you have been forgetting the blessing of the fields. I haven't been there since... Since you went to that war. I've not even asked you about the French women. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ben, you haven't seen my daughter, Rafaela, since she was, uh, what, uh, 15. She was... Uh... Like a wild boy. Now she's not at all like a wild boy. Hey, you know, I might not know too much about those French mademoiselles. <laughs> but a Mexican girl, that couple of years when they start to ripen. No, no, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> How could the ripen be an offense? <laughs> Luces. Gracias. <laughs> Rafaela, my daughter. You remember Benjamin? Yes, of course I remember Ben. <laughs> She's a wild boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Papa, the radio has come. Will you come? I need the money. <laughs> money? Con permiso. Benjamin, she always asks me for money. <laughs> money. How's, um, how's Talbot? He's kind of quiet. We'll keep an eye on him, though. If he thinks he's gonna get out of this by killing himself, he ain't got a chance. That's good. Ben. To do that to that woman, tell before. I, I've watched Doc Schilling handle all sorts of bodies, but I never felt uh, kind of fuzzy in my head before. I couldn't get sick like Tolliver. I'm a chief. But that beautiful body was just... It was like a wood thing. And I want to feel that. Because you wanted her. Oh, come on now, Ben. I don't say you would have done anything about it. Anyway, not while anyone was watching, but... You wanted her. Like... Every other man in this town. 